your five, uh, I know you've got to be excited with uh, just the numbers that you have coming back. Right. We've got everybody but one guy coming back from last year's team, and I think 49 of our 63 points coming back from uh, last year. So we're excited about the, um, the opportunities we have this year. I would assume not much is going to change, pressure, run, and go. Well, yeah, we just got to see what happens and see what's going to work best for this bunch of guys because I think every year I do, we do a little something different because um, your talent varies. Uh, it's not like you can put a system in and count on that working every year, so you have to adjust it. What's the strength of your team? I think the strength will be we'll have some uh, senior leadership this time, uh, not that we haven't in the past, but um, just some, some good, valuable experience that the guys have been through in the last three or four years, and I think that will help us a bunch. And we'll be a little deeper than we were last year. Senior leadership makes a big difference not only – at the end of the game, but maybe in the middle of the game when things start to get out of hand and they can pick it up a little bit. Right. Well, there's there's certain times in the game where you have to be able to have somebody you can count on to try to get a bucket. And, uh, you know, that's one of the things that year to year you got to find that guy that's going to be the go-to. And so we that'll be, you know, with a little more experience this year, that'll be better for us, I think. Your key guys are? Well, I think Zane has got to be, Zane Roberts has got to be our, our play well for us if we're going to compete. Um, Logan Tade also has really looked really looked pretty good. We've got um, <clears throat> Kobe Linder, Ben Farrell, uh, two young guys coming back as well uh, from last year's, one from last year's team and another one from, uh, it's a freshman, Caden Smith, and um, also um, um, Chris uh, Sandstrom. And uh, a couple more guys inside will be uh, Heisman Ray and uh, Dale Broadwell. So we got we got several guys that can fill the void. I think this year. Would you say you have to get anybody out? Tate was either real good or he was real bad. You want to see more consistency out of him this year, don't you? Right. We've got to have consistency out of all of them. I think uh, you know just handling the ball, taking care of the ball, value each possession, and and be a consistent. Consistent score. I mean, you know, it's uh, that guy that can put in 13 to 15 a night. Uh, there's a lot to be said about those guys because they're consistent, and, and we have to have that. Yeah, it's also important you have two or three guys that can score. They can't zero in on one guy. Exactly. Uh, and I think that's we're going to have a little bit of help with our younger guys coming in. Uh, both can score. Both are not afraid to score, uh, not afraid of the situations, and, and so that will help us a little bit as well. And you're not afraid to play younger players. If they can play, you don't make any difference. If they can do it, they, they play, don't they? I'm going to put the five on there. I think it's the best at that time and the ones that need to be. Uh, not everybody always appreciates that because uh, some people think seniors should play regardless or juniors, and that's not the way it's going to be as long as I'm doing it. Okay, let's talk about the big elephant in the room. I don't see a district championship trophy here. <laughs> you're over five. You've been in the finals five years in a row. Uh, is this the year? Well, we say that every year. We hope that we're in that situation. Uh, it's been pretty pretty fortunate to be in that situation. Uh, 17 ball games. I think that's the least we've won in five years, and uh, that's you know uh, a great season. Uh, but yet, trying to get over that hump uh, is is a, a challenge. And um, you know we struggled last year at the end with some foul trouble in the end in the last game and, and almost came through that anyway. But we hope this year is going to be it. But I just want them to take one game at a time and get better each game. Your tournament starts in a couple weeks. Uh, how do you see the boys side? Well, it's going to be tough. I think probably more, there's more parity this year than there has been in a while. Um, you know, Milan, I think, uh, Milan actually got the three seed in our tournament. But I probably feel like they're one of the best teams in the area. Uh, just athleticism and and you know just overall, uh, Scotland's going to be good again. They're always athletic and he does a good job with them. And and Laplate is going to have several guys coming back as well. Green City's going to have a s solid team again. So uh, you know there's just going to be a lot of parity and it's all who comes to play on the right night. The quarterfinal game will almost be like a championship game in most tournaments. Won't it? Absolutely, absolutely. It'll be a, it'll be there'll be a lot of good games. I think. One area. That your team needs to get better at early in the year. 
Well, I always say defense because if you can defend, you can be in every game. And uh, we're going to continue to work on that. Uh, over the years, I think we've done a decent job of defending. Uh, it's a commitment the kids have got to take on and play hard and, and rebound. And it, it probably overall defensively, you know, we're going to have to try to do a few different things this year that we haven't had the opportunity to do before. And hopefully that will help us a little bit. How important is the time from when you go on Christmas break until you come back at the first of the year? How important is that to uh, moving your team up a notch? Well, you know, uh, my dad, 25 years ago, never practiced over Christmas break. And I've kind of gone to that over the years that I've been doing it. I usually try to give my kids a lot of time off because most of them start in August with baseball. Now it's July with baseball and are practicing all the way through till if they're in track and baseball in the spring, they're, they're practiced year round. So I always try to give them a week off at least at Christmas time. But it's important, you know, to come back in, get your legs underneath you again, and get a few shots up, and and uh, you know that'll be a good time to see where we are really. Maybe quality more than quantity. Absolutely, I think that's the key with anything, any practice. You know, I think my kids get uh, get uh, tired of the same thing every day, but uh, it's been my theory over the years that we got to get better at each individual aspect of the game and to do that you got to practice and you have to practice those things so how do you change things up at practice every now and then just to make it different well you just we do different little different things we'll have a little a fun activity or something at the time you know whether that's a full court one-on-one -on -one or or do a lot of we do a lot of stuff like that that's just a give a little competitiveness in practice